Hey guys, so a yummy side that I like to make occasionally, we don't eat it very regularly, but at least four to five times a year is roasted acorn squash. So I just take my acorn squash, I wash it, cut it in half. Cut the stem off, and then I just get a bowl, a spoon, scrape the insides out. Just like that. Okay. Then I cut it into what would look like, say, a little melon slice. In the fall, sometimes I roast it with the rind on it on a baking sheet, and then we just eat it like that. But... In the air fryer, I like to put it in cubes and peel it. And on the grill, I like to peel it and just take these slices and cut them in half. And I put onions in there and then I just grill everything in one of those baskets on the grill. And it kind of ends up like the texture of a potato, like a roasted potato with just a little bit more of a sweeter taste to it. All right. And then I just come in with my potato peeler and I just peel the rind off and I use a potato peeler to peel the rind off because that way I can peel it off very thinly and I'm not wasting any of the actual acorn squash just like you would a potato and that's it you're left with these beautiful slices and when you cook it on the grill or bake it it kind of gives you the texture of a potato but it doesn't have as many carbs and not as many calories as a potato. So it's a good substitute if you're trying to reduce your carbs, but it is still a starchy vegetable, but it's a good alternative for once in a while if you're looking for something to substitute for a regular potato. Okay, so the acorn squash is all cut and peeled. So I'm going to cut these slices in half just because it'll be easier to manage them on the grill in the, in the basket, like toss them around when they're smaller. I want them to be a little bit similar in size. Easier for serving. Okay, so to this, I am going to add some olive oil, just enough to coat it and get it nice and caramelized. And I'm out of olive oil. I'm not out, out. I'm just out in that bottle. Okay. And we are going to do some garlic powder. This is not pouring. 
Okay, so we're going to do some garlic powder. We're going to do some salt. And we're going to do some black pepper. Just like that. And we're going to do a little bit of thyme. About a teaspoon. And that's it. You're going to give this a nice toss to get all the pieces of acorn squash seasoned. And that's it. So I'm going to cover this and put it in the fridge because I'm not making this until dinner and I have to go to work. So this is going to sit in the fridge all day. I'm just prepping it just like I made the potato salad real quick. Um, so this is going to sit in the fridge all day. I'm just prepping it because, you know, after work, who feels like cooking a million things? Nobody. So this is at least done. And then all I have to do is put it on the grill. And before I wrap this up, I'm going to grill an onion with this tonight. So I just chopped up an onion in big chunks and I'm going to throw it in the air fryer with the acorn squash. I don't need to season the onion because grilled onion toasted up all in itself has amazing flavor. If you want to season the onion with salt, pepper, garlic, and everything that you put in the acorn squash, by all means, go ahead, or you can give it a quick toss. So I'm going to cover this up now and pop it in the fridge. Okay. All right, see you tonight. When you get home from work, just take this out of the fridge and put it on the counter and let it come to room temperature a little bit while you're getting changed or doing whatever you do, saying hi to the kids, helping with homework, whatever you do when you get home from work, put this out, then go do all that. And by the time you come back, this will be, um, have come to room temperature a little bit. Okay, so I put the acorn squash and the onion in a grill basket. And now I am going to put this on the grill, just like that. And it's gonna start getting cooked. I'm gonna put it on low and I'm gonna get this closed while I go get the rest of dinner ready. Okay guys, over here, these are chicken kale sausages. They're very good. So I'm gonna put these on here and I'm gonna put them on low. And ooh, I'm gonna let these cook low and slow. There's plastic on that. There's no plastic, that's the casing of the sausage. Yeah. <laughs> plastic. What are you trying to use? Plastic? Mm hmm What do you what the, that's why you that's why you don't use sausages on. Okay, close the grill, hon. This has been on here for like 15 minutes. I'm just going to give it a mix. All right. And the sausages are doing nicely. I'm going to put them on top because I don't want them to get too toasted up. So I'm going to put the sausages on top, flip them and put them on top. And I'm going to get the pork chops. These sausages are chicken kale sausages. And they are delicious. They're by the Primo brand. I don't think I've seen them in another brand exactly like this. And they're really, really good. They're a little pricey, but they're on sale for $3.99 a pack. So I bought a couple packs. All right, so I got the sausages on here. These are chicken kale sausages. And now I'm gonna get the pork chops on. And I marinated these with olive oil, paprika, 
um, some salt, pepper, and then I use some Brazilian steakhouse seasoning. So I'm gonna get these on the grill. I'm gonna bring them over here. Okay. Just like that. And the last one. There we go. All right, so I have the grill on low and I'm just gonna let these hang out for a while. Just like that. So we're having chicken and kale sausages. We're having pork chops. And we are having acorn squash with onions. And I'm gonna see if I can make a salad. Give this a mix. The onion out of the back there. All right. Okay, I'm gonna close this up. All right, these are ready to flip. Look at that. See that? That's flavor. See that? Grilled acorn squash. Yum. Okay guys, this is ready. So I'm just taking everything off the grill. like that. We got the sausages. I'm going to see if I can get everything on this one pan. Let's see if I can do that. I want the sausage a little bit more crispy, so I'm going to turn them around and put the flame up a little bit. Outside cooking is my favorite kind of cooking because easy cleanup. All right, let's see if I can get all this on here. You know what? I need a spoon for this to make it easier. Okay, so I got a spoon. I'm serving one tray on the table, family style, and then I have some corn on the cob boiling, and I'll serve that as well. They were four for a dollar. How could I not get them? And let me just show you. The acorn squash is fork tender. You see that? It's almost like a grilled potato. So good. Totally fork tender. It's like a grilled potato. Super delicious. Okay, so let me get the rest of this off. And dinner is served. Okay. Okay, and there you have it, guys. Dinner is served. So we have the paprika 
garlic Brazilian steakhouse seasoned pork chops. We have the chicken and kale sausages, and we have the roasted olive oil, thyme, salt, pepper, acorn squash, and grilled onions. And that's it. I'm going to put this on the table family style. I have some corn on the cob, and dinner is served. Thanks for watching. Bye.